We are talking about All Star Weekend in Toronto, That's Canada. That's right. All Star Weekend, uh, in, in my opinion, a black holiday as it is. Honestly, yes. people clear the whole schedules to walk uh, All Star. Got to weekend. Um, just the little stuff like the, the All Star Saturday night. You know, of course, you got your uh, dunk contest. Let's pick a um, winner. Each. Skills challenge, three point shooting contest, stuff like that. So, you know, we'll start with the uh, Taco Bell skills challenge. Uh, we've got Patrick Beverly. DeMarcus Cousins, Draymond Green, Anthony Davis, C.J. McCollum, Carl Anthony Towns, Isaiah Thomas, and Jordan Clarkson for the Taco Bell Skills love, Challenge first event. I love the fact that they're putting big men in there. Love it. This is great. And this puts pressure on the guards, the skilled players that you'd think would be able to win it easily. In this competition, I want to be a homer and say Anthony Davis, but low-key, low-key, I think Draymond Green might win it. The skills challenge. Actually, you know, it's interesting. I, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I mean, I, I don't want to be, you know, I'm from the Bears, so I don't want to be the guy that's always like, where is this, where is that, which right. I already am. But um, <laughs> honestly, rightfully I, so. I, 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 Patrick Beverly, he might do okay. I'm not the biggest yeah. Patrick Beverly fan. It's, he's, oh, you know, I feel like in an unguarded situation, he'd be fine. But I don't know. He'd be okay. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins, he's a big dude. DeMarcus I don't know if Cousins could, would be the biggest surprise if he, if if he, he wins. If he got it even close, yes. He'd be so, surprised. Um, Anthony Davis, I think, will do well. Um, Isaiah Thomas, but you know, like you said, I'm actually, go- I'm actually, you know, I'm actually going to, I got to go against my boy this time. Um, okay. I'm going with Anthony Davis. AD. I'm going with Anthony brow. Davis, man. Okay. You know, uh, Draymond Green, Anthony Davis, you know, both great ball handlers, great shooters uh, at the big man position, can guard all five positions basically. And um, a win for the Pelicans, something they hadn't, they're not used to. No, they're definitely not used to. Yeah. So I, I'm going with Anthony Davis. You said Draymond Green. I'm going to go with Draymond. Yes. Let's, let's move on then. Let's move on to the next competition. Verizon Slam. Actually, we got the three point shooting contest. Let oh, me list of you off the names. Um, we've got no name participant Stephen Curry. Who you don't even need to, to, to name it. Don't, I think Steph Curry is going to win. Don't don't know who that is. Uh, James Harden, Clay Thompson. Chris Middleton from the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the, the Bucks don't get a lot of cover, so I don't, I, I, he could be he could be great for all I'm I know. I'm assuming he can shoot. Yeah. Um, Kyle Lowry, the to the hometown kid of Toronto. Kyle Ka- Lowry. Toronto. Oh. JJ Redick, kid. Chris Bosh, and uh, Devin Booker, rookie from Phoenix. Um, who do you have in this year's competition? Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh is is a wow. Okay. Man, you know what? Let me go with the hometown kid, Kyle Lowry. Why do you think Kyle Lowry would get I, the win? I, he, all these guys can shoot. It's just a matter of who gets hot at the right time. Steph Curry, of course, he's the one who has the target on his back. I think Klay Thompson might feel motivated to beat him since he lost last season. But why not? Kyle Lowry, who cares? Kyle Lowry, who cares? Yes. Um, that one, this one I have to I, – I can't, I can't pick against Devin Curry, man. He's, uh, yeah, it's hard to. Last year he played very well. This year, he's, I think, within 20 or 30 of the amount of threes. He's definitely within a certain amount of the amount of threes he hit all last season. It's only the all-star break. He, the, man, I think, the man is on a t- an absolute tear. Historical run. This, the, what we will look back and say, what did this guy do? Maybe the Jordan of like our, of our, era. our era. It's, 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 it's incredible, really, just to see – um, you know, MVP last year led his team to a championship, and to see how much better how much better he is this year as the last year, it's, it's incredible. Scary. It's scary. It's it's, it's scary. And it, it, I don't know if it's possible for you to win the MVP award and the most like improved player in the same yeah, year. But that's true. Stephen Curry is putting up a very good, um, uh, very good case for it. And, you know, oh I think yeah. that I think that uh, you know, watching Stephen Curry growing up and you know seeing him develop as a player, I think when I compare his skill from this year to last year, one thing that's really gotten better is, uh, you know, he's always always been able to shoot. Um, you know, he's hitting more threes this year, and it's just it's incredible. But I think that really sets that up is the fact that he's so much a better of a finisher at the rim now. Oh yeah, um, better passer, too. better passer, and uh, it's 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 all those things together that just kind of made him an unguardable force. Before sometimes, if you could force him off the three point line, he might try and hit a floater or tr- you know miss a layup as you know gets into the lane because he's not as big as these dudes. He got in the gym. Got bigger, got faster, got stronger, passes better, and finishes at the rim. Yep. He's got the MVP wrapped up, I think, midseason. Moving on, then. Moving on. The uh, highlight of the night, we've got the Verizon Slam slam Dunk dunk competition. What happened to Sprite, man? No Sprite? I don't know, man. I really like Sprite, man. I feel like Uh, Sprite held it down. Quench your thirst. You know, quench your thirst. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> in the competition this year, Zach Levine, Aaron Gordon, Will Barton from the Denver Nuggets, and mm. Andre Drummond, who um, is actually leading the uh, amount of dunks category by there quite a bit. Um, so, you know, like we said, Zach Levine is the coming in as the defending champion. Um, yes. Who do you have in this this year's competition? Zach Levine last year put some spark back into the slam dunk competition. He made he he was crazy, man. He came out with the Looney Tunes Space Jam jersey. He he he's my favorite for sure. But this guy Will Barton from the Nuggets, he's nice, man. He's explosive. I I don't I haven't seen him much, but. I would I would have my eyes on Will Barton as well. Should be, should be a fun one. You know, I I say don't sleep on second year player Aaron Gordon. No, Actually, sir. that kid has some bounce. I'm gonna just go on the sleeper pick that Aaron Gordon. Okay. He, he might choke honestly, but Aaron, I, <laughs> I want to see Aaron Gordon come out there, throw down something crazy. And obviously, you know, we talk about not sleeping. Don't sleep on Andre Drummond. That man could okay. get up. I'm not. I'm not. Don't do it. Hey, quick uh, conversation. What's up? Best dunker of all time. Uh, I guess my my favorite dunker is I, I have Vince Carter, of course. Yes, I'm a huge Jason Richardson fan. Um, oh, he was great. Oh, obviously Warriors. And so yeah, uh, between those, I mean, for me, I, I would have to pick between those two just because those are like my okay. favorites that I've none seen. None of the none of the old school Dominique Wilkins, Michael Jordan, Julius Irving. None they're them, huh? they're good. They're good, and obviously the, you know greats in the league, but. Yeah. Um, I, 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 Vince Sanity, Vince Carter, he's crazy. Yeah, he wins in my book. Yeah, exactly. Cha- I think that he, Vince he, Carter and Jason just changed what the dunk contest was. He jumps so high, man. His head is like at the top of the backboard when you watch him dunk. No one was Vince able Carter. to put it, their arm like in the rim. Nobody yes. had ever done that before. Jason Richardson was doing stuff like, you know. Jason was, Richardson was doing some crazy he stuff. He was as getting well. up crazy. Yeah. Vince Carter was dunking. Like twist through the legs, finish like it. Jason Richard, uh, no, Vince Carter jumped over a seven foot player in yeah. a national game. Yes, yes, which is also crazy. So I, he, I would Vince have to Carter say one of those too. Might be the best in game dunker. He would do three sixties between the legs in the games, just for no reason, just for fun, man. And I think that what 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 uh um what hurts uh Jason Richardson's pub on being a, a great in game dunker is because one time he uh had a fast break down the floor. Look back to the right over his right shoulder. Had LeBron coming over to his left. He tried to hit a 360 dunk mid game, oh, no. and LeBron came and just swatted it away. Like, oh yeah. no! So I, I feel like that messed up his rep a little bit from the in game perspective. But hey, great dunkers. Great dunkers. Um, but like you said, you, you you can't forget to bring up you know Dominic Wilkin, Dominique Wilkins, oh, and yeah. uh, MJ, Spuddy and uh, Webb. Spuddy Spuddy Webb, Spuddy Webb, incredible Nate Robinson actually. Oh Nate Robinson, man, kryptonite. What is it? A three-time, four-time champion? I think three-time champion. He, and what is he? F- six, five, ten, six foot. I think foot? he's shorter than that. I think he's your height, man. How old tall are you? No. How about five eleven. Oh, never mind. He's like five seven, man. Incredible. Five eight, maybe. Incredible, incredible. So I, I would have to put him on the list as well. How okay. about you? Yes, Nate Robinson. Yes, I agree. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> All right. And lastly, uh, we've got the. Biggest event. What's the that? All Star Game, the 65th oh, All Star Game from the Air Canada Center. Air Canada in Toronto, Canada. Oh, Canada. Let me just let me just read you off some names on this list here. We got the starters of the West Coast. Kobe yeah, well, who Bryant. are the starters? Give me the starters. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Russell Westbrook are the starters for the Western Two Conference. Oklahoma City Thunder's. Let's just note that. Correct, but. If you look at it at the end of the day, on the West Coast, the team with the most representation is actually the Golden State Warriors, um, like the reserves, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson. Um, Also, we include Chris Paul, James Harden, DeMarcus Cousins, LaMarcus Aldridge, and uh, hometown hometown favorite here in in New Orleans, Anthony Davis. And it'll be fun to watch him because he hasn't actually played an All-Star game yet. He was injured last year, played in the rookie game or sophomore game, his – Two years ago. So, yes, it'll be fun to watch him. Now, on the other side of the ball, Eastern Conference, we got Carmelo Anthony starting, which is interesting to me. Porzingis um, should be starting. Paul George, LeBron James, whoever that is, Kyle Lowry from Toronto. Kyle Lowry. Dwayne Wade. And then on the reserve Wade, side, the we've Flash. got uh, 
The Flash, Jimmy Butler, John Wall, Andre Drummond, Chris Bosh, DeMar DeRozan, another Toronto native, Paul Millsap, and Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, I wanted to watch, uh, what's his name? I'm going blank. I don't know who you're talking about. No. Jimmy Butler, I wanted to watch him, but unfortunately got injured. He, he, he's a goat. He is a goat? A goat. He is a greatest of all time. Jimmy Butler, very, very good. He's been on a tear also. Very underrated. Very underrated. If you, you know, he's been hurt, and Derek Rose has actually been on the come up. He's been, you know, cashing out these last couple weeks. Cashing out. Um, But, you know, back to this All Star game, you know, obviously we got to talk about Kobe Bryant and his farewell tour. It should be fun to watch, huh? They'll do something special for him, I'm sure. Just give him the ball every time down, just let him shoot. I I wouldn't even feel bad about seeing. I mean, sometimes it's uh it's kind of hard to watch Kobe just because he's only yeah. shooting. But I think it'd be fine. He had thirty eight the other night, man. Exactly. So he he's been on a, he's been balling recently. He just came off that game against playing against LeBron for the last time. But I mean, technically this is the la- this will be the last time he plays against LeBron. And yes. All these guys and. When you talk about that, great moments in NBA All Star history, you've got the times when you know players come back, or if it's their last All Star game, you know the first one that comes to mind, Magic Johnson when he came back from uh, yeah, when he got sick. So I think this will be a this legendary will be one of them. game. This will be one of them. Yep, for sure. So you know that'll be something fun to watch. And uh, after hearing all those names, Taylor, who do you have winning the All Star game this year? I think the Western Conference wins the All Star game and the NBA Finals. And who do you have winning the NBA Finals? Oh man. It's, it's really hard for me not to say the Golden State Warriors. It's very difficult. But you know what? You know what, man? What? Two of, those, two of those guys you mentioned on the All-Star game, one of them's name's Kevin Durant, one of them Russell Westbrook, the Oklahoma City Thunder could make some moves in the playoffs. And they, obviously the Spurs have an opportunity, but the Thunder, I really think, can challenge the Warriors. Really? I, I think they're the only team that could beat them in a seven-game series. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. Not the Spurs. The Spurs obviously are in the hunt as well. But You're saying KD I, and Russell Westbrook coming in there. I think just because their, their time together is limited. If they don't get anything done in the next couple seasons, it's separation time for, for KD and Russ. Where do you think they'll go? Oh, I, I have no idea. Speculation, you're talking crazy stuff now, man. I mean, if Kevin Durant, they're talking about him going to New York or Brooklyn, all this. I have no idea. I feel like Russell is, is more likely to stay than KD, which three years ago I wouldn't have said that. Options, of course, are on the table. But I think Russell Westbrook, they're saying he could be going to the Lakers. Same thing with KD. They said he could also be going to the Lakers. But yep, I heard that also. KD might be going back home to Washington, D.C. to play Washington, with John Wall yeah. and Bradley Beal. And actually – a report came out from Bleacher Report a couple of days ago talking about how the Golden State Warriors are actually in the lead for the getting the Kevin Durant lottery, which which is weird to me. I'm not even sure. Give up. Give up. I, I'm not sure how. It's not fair. It's I don't know fair. how that would help. I think in a, in a playoff situation. I think the Warriors are just doing fine as they yeah, are. Exactly. 47-4 and right now. I think once they get into a playoff series, I think we'll be fine. I think uh, I think the Warriors might just go back-to-back again this year because they're just so much better than yeah. most of the other teams in the league. But I think with Kevin Durant in the seven-game series, with having Kevin Durant, it could be a little bit easier. But at the end of the day, I don't think you can get much better than 47-4. and four. You Warriors, literally can't get better than Nobody's Warriors, done it. The Warriors look unbeatable at this point. So we shall see, man. That is coming up very soon. April can't get here soon enough.